Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2025 ski test. We've got a Solomon Stance 84W for you today. And this ski just screams lightweight, value, versatile, high performance, all of those things. This is an incredibly overlooked ski. Uh, great performance to money ratio on this thing. Uh, at mid 80s is a great place to be for a lot of skiers that spend most of their time in an on-trail situation but also want something that has a little bit of versatility for exploration and creativity and, and stuff like that. Um, we've always thought that this Stance 84 has been uh, top of its class uh, in terms of the dollar to fun ratio, uh, just providing an excellent amount of kind of engineering, sophistication, technology uh, to go along with, with uh, a pretty good price point. Um, it is built with a lighter weight core consisting of Karuba and Poplar. And then they put in their TIC frame. So there's a full sheet of Titanol uh, going on under this ski here. And in these windows that are cut out uh, in the forebody and through the aft, uh, they put in uh, carbon stringers infused in the fiberglass. So they're reducing a little bit of weight, but keeping the stiffness uh, fully there. So you get the damp, quiet ride of the metal and then the energy of the carbon giving you a uh, great rebound and strong initiation into any type of carved turn. Uh, in this ski, in this 84, we do see a mix of cap and uh, sidewall. So it's full sidewall um, from my fingers to my fingers here, and then it's capped beyond. And that lines up with the rocker profile. So what they're doing is they're putting more emphasis on the midsection of the ski being grippier and more on-trail oriented and then the ends of the ski is being more agile, more mobile, floatier, easier to initiate, easier to, uh, to rebound and get into the next turn. So a lot of engineering and technology going on in this ski. Um, you know, that metal and the carbon do kind of combine to make a pretty stiff and responsive board, um, but given the lightweight and easy turning nature, they're not too demanding at all. So this is a 167. We're under 1,500 grams at 1,430, so light and mobile for sure. Um, but yeah, we do get a little bit of versatility as well uh, due to this shape. Camber underfoot gives you good grip and pop. And then when we decamber it, you can see that rocker come down almost to where uh, that sidewall starts. So low and then a little bit more display. This is more of an all-mountain style rocker profile than a free ride one. And that aligns well with uh, the intended use and application of the ski for sure. Low rocker in the tail, nice and smooth exit, not a lot of splay. That's going to allow the ski to engage, to remain engaged in the turn uh, until you say to stop, at which point you'll get full advantage of that carbon energy and that rebound into the next turn. But yeah, great option here for mixing on and off trail skiing. You know, a little bit spoonier in the tip shape. It's not, you know, not too sharp or angular, uh, but more flat and kind of rounded there. And that really helps bring the versatility around. A great option if you're mixing between on and off trail. I think this is a good ski for people that are, um, you know, buying their first set of skis. We do have this that comes in a system binding option that's offered as a package. So that just increases your value as well. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking to get into your first pair of skis, I think the mid 80s is a great place to be for all mountain style where you're, you know, spending most of your time on trail, but you don't want something too narrow uh, in case it snows, in case you want to go in the trees, ski some bumps, have a nice platform underfoot. That's where the Stance 84W really comes in handy. Make sure you check these things out here at SkiEssentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.